job. In the last few days, we've been leak testing and pressure testing my small system here a lot. Uh, yeah, searching for all the leaks and the fittings here and reapplying the tape and redoing it all again a couple of times. And now we've found most of them, apart from the very minor ones, but they don't, they aren't that bad. I also uh, finished the electronics to a stage where we now can yeah, run the first couple of small tests. Or oh, we actually already have done that because uh, I couldn't be bothered getting filmed during that. <laughs> but I'll show you how it works. So here uh, beneath the fill valve you can see the power supply that I showed you last time. And next to that are the batteries. Those are lithium polymer batteries uh, that are normally used for like quadcopters, drones. And here on the other side we have the Arduino and the Bluetooth module. So it has a brain but it cannot think yet. I have to do a lot of software still. But something rudimentary can be, can be done already. So to get it up and running we start by connecting the balance leads to the batteries. And now the voltage monitoring device is running. And then we connect the main power lines. And now the system is yeah, set up and we can start pressurizing it. We won't go to full pressure today. Uh, full pressure would be 100 bars. Uh, it's currently pressure tested to 60 bars because I don't have the right pressure tester right now, but I'll redo that later. And today we'll go with the smaller compressor to yeah, around 8 bars. So now the compressor is connected and we can start pressurizing by opening the valve. And now we can disconnect it again. Good, now it's full of pressure. I'll get my remote control here. And we can arm it. Now it's on and the valves can be actuated. So I'll go to my uh, Bluetooth serial connection and connect to the Arduino and now it prints some pressure readings. They aren't accurate, uh, the sensors aren't accurately um, calibrated yet, but the ballpark reading is okay. And when I press those buttons um, it sends some yeah, basic characters to the Arduino and it fishes them out of the serial bus and yeah, actuates the left or the right valve, basically. So, like this. And connection lost. Good thing we have Bluetooth. <laughs> It's really fun. <laughs> and now we are out of pressure. So after that, we make sure the whole thing is turned off again. That's pretty much everything I can show you for today. Um, there's still a lot of stuff to do. For example, the electronics aren't completely done yet. And then there's a lot of programming and I have to manufacture some of these thruster nozzles in different sizes. Uh, so yeah, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you 
at some point again. <laughs> Bye. Copenhagen Suborbitals is a non-profit all-volunteer project. The reason we are getting so close to reaching space on our speaker rocket is because all of our crowdfunding supporters. If you've been following this project and feel passionate about new ways of exploring space and building rockets, you can help us out by going over to our website www.copsub.com and becoming a supporter with a small monthly or one-time donation that helps us pay workshop rent and buy materials. And in return, you get all these insider videos on building a space program which you don't really get anywhere else. So on behalf of everybody at Copenhagen Suborbitals, thank you for your support and we'll see you next time.